Hello beautiful people, hope so you're all having an amazing day because I am having an amazing day. In our previous tutorials, we learned how to write prototypes and return types for user-defined functions. But today, we are going to learn categories of function. Today, we will only cover theoretical based or concept based knowledge. However, in our upcoming tutorial, in our next tutorials, we will cover each category with example and deep down concepts. So first of all, we are going to discuss functions category, function with no return value and passes no argument. It means the function will not return any value and will not have any arguments or parameters means no parameters or no value will pass from main function to function definition as an example we can see below in red color uh, in place of function type we are watching void however larger is an identifier and in place of parameters and arguments void is present it means nothing or empty the next function category is function with arguments and will have no return value mean the function will have parameters value will pass from main function to the function definition however it will not return any value so in place of function type, we will write void, larger is again an identifier, and in place of parameter or arguments, we are saying two integers. However, the next type is function with no arguments, but it will have a return value. So in place of function type, we are saying integer data type or function type or return type however in place of parameters or arguments there is nothing but void actually void itself means nothing the fourth one and last category is function with arguments and also it will return a value so we are saying integer in place of return type and larger is an identifier Oh, sorry. However, in place of uh, parameters, in place of parameters, we are seeing two integers. So these are the four types of function categories you can see. However, in our upcoming tutorial, we are going to cover all the examples with of each and every category uh, with concept and with complete hand-on knowledge. So if you like my channel or video, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos and don't forget to click the like button. And if you want to test your knowledge of C++, don't forget to download the C++ programming quiz app. And for Java students, here's an other app, Core Java Quiz. Link of both apps will be in comment section. Thanks for watching. Like always. Peace.